One interesting component to Princess's sustainability mission is that it's not always about recycling plastics or paper or renewable energy, fuel, water. It's also about wild places, ecosystems, where species depend upon us to be good stewards. A great example of this is on Grand Cayman, this incredible island where conservationists and researchers are studying our relationship with the incredible southern stingray. Basking in the Caribbean Sea, due south of Cuba is the extraordinary island of Grand Cayman. As I tender ashore, I can already feel the attraction to this seaside playground. Sunny beaches, thrilling water sports, and relaxing vibes present a wealth of opportunities for the perfect day of island fun. I'm heading to a popular sandbar just offshore known as Stingray City to join a key study of the local wild stingray population. Millions of people come to this island every year solely for the purpose of connecting with these creatures. And this is Jessica Harvey, and she's a biologist. Why do people have a fascination with southern stingrays? It's crystal clear water. People of all swimming abilities can stand at this spot. It's one of the rare places where you can actually interact with an animal that people normally feel threatened by. And in actuality, they're really friendly. And the goal is to keep this connection as positive and as healthy as possible. We want to make sure that these rays with this kind of human interaction are safe because at the end of the day, they play an important part in our ecosystem. And we have a responsibility to make sure that they are not hindered in any way by this constant interaction. All right, so should we go find some rays? Absolutely, right, let's, do it. let's do it. Nearby, dozens of tourists delight in the good nature of these gentle giants, which underscores the importance of this project. So right here is a stingray. It's sitting pretty. It's used to people, even though it may weigh 50 or 60 pounds, has a barb this big, it is conditioned to go along for the ride. Right. All right, let's do it. Now I'm gonna slide over here with the net. So receiving team ready? Yep. Okay. And lift. Once the stingray is safely in a pool of water, we can begin the research study. So Jess has got this paper clip in a washcloth. And essentially what you're doing is you're making this stingray defenseless. Right, and also preventing us from being stung too. <laughs> it's got a, a, a syringe-like barb uh, that comes out from that tail. It's got venom. Yes. And if that gets inside you, it hurts. Very painful. Very, very painful. I've got this scanner right here, this wand. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right, so we, we've got her ID. Remember, she's had a microchip because these rays are part of a long-term study. So we know her, that's great. We've gotta move pretty quickly because she's out of her element. She's experiencing the ultimate human alien abduction. <laughs> so we'll get some measurements here. Wing tip to wing tip. So basically, okay. we're getting a measurement cool. of the wingspan. 101.5. 101.5 centimeters. centimeters. Yeah. And now we just need a tissue sample. Okay, so this is harmless. Snip. So we have this perfect. tiny little piece of flesh. This will regenerate, but this gives us this incredible endless reservoir of data. We can learn about her biochemistry, whether she's been eating toxins, and we learn about her genetics. All important information that goes back to the lab. And she goes back and into the water. All right. Water. Okay. One ray done, a few more to go. All right. Awesome. All right, let's go get another ray. Jessica gently secures new subjects and we repeat the whole process time after time. How many rays are a part of this project? How many rays come in here and connect with all these people? About a hundred. Until we did this, nobody really knew. DNA. Thank you very much. Uh, measuring tape. You know, nobody knew the number of females to males. Nobody knew how often did they stay around here. So at this site, it's seven females to one male. Seven female rays to one male. And we can tell the difference because the males are... Much smaller. I think a lot of people misunderstand stingrays and sharks. These creatures are indicator species. When you see lots of rays and sharks, it means you have a healthy ecosystem. So let's keep this healthy and get it back in the water. Absolutely. All right. 
Here we go. Got her? Yep. And there she goes, back into this gorgeous luminescent sea. 